Hi, I am uh, Gabriela from Tulip Art Designs and in today's video we are drawing this quite nice and festive Christmassy illustration that you can use for anything, maybe a card or just a nice illustration for your wall. Um, I will prepare outlines for you so you can download it for free. Go find the link in the, link in the description and let's get started. Hi! So in today's video I want to make this uh, nice card design. I am using um, Archie's watercolor paper that's also called press because if you know me and if you're following me you know that I really like the um, texture of it. It's a bit rough. And then I have a pencil for my sketch and a small eraser. I have my Winsor & Newton watercolor with the extra palette. I have some water and some clean one. Then different sizes of uh, round brushes and some pens. I have Pigma Micron and I have 08, I have the brush, I have 02 and for the last details I use my jelly pen, jelly roll pen. Um, if you are doing ink and watercolor illustrations and designs, you have to know that you need waterproof um, fine liners or ink. So today I wanted to make these gnomes. I was searching for some inspiration and I saw these uh, nice decorations of um, um, some shops and stores. So I wanted to draw them. Maybe I can make a vertical one and I can do one that has long legs, let's say somewhere here, and then I have a small one somewhere here, and then maybe I can just do three or, or maybe four, I just like the number three, then maybe another one that's more fat one with a big hat here. What I noticed first is that they have big and nice noses. So something like this. And then we have the hat like this coming on both sides and then going up, up, up and maybe this one can just do something like this something that's funny and nice and then it has a big ear but let's see maybe this one has this kind of a beard and then the body and some of them are standing and some of them are really cute with just small fit it fit here something like this okay this one is cute 
and then the other one will be a small one so let's say it will be somewhere here it also has the big nose maybe it has this hat just straight like this and then what we can do maybe this one will have some nice and funny circles and like this just all over the head and this one here maybe something like this maybe this one has the white you know like Christmassy and this one maybe it will just have the mustache like this and then the funny small feet mm, maybe I want to just make here one extra beard <laughs> okay this one is funny and then the other one let's say it has the head somewhere here with his nose and then his head maybe let's say the head is funny with something like this that we just do something like this is it nice yeah i think they are cute and then this one probably has can have a nice Maybe something like this, and it has a nice dress. Like this, probably, <laughs> and this one has a very long legs with nice boots like this maybe we can see the other boot somewhere here so I have probably something like a Land. The next step, I will just add some ink and I am using, I don't know if it can focus, never mind, Pigma Micron 08. I go around and add all the outlines. So I will speed it up now. For this thing. And then we will continue with adding colors
Now what I'm doing is to just erase and clean the illustration because when you add bottom cover you cannot erase the pencil anymore because that's how it works watercolor just works as a mask for the pencil and you just cannot erase it anymore okay i think i will start with actually with a number 10 with the red hat and just go around. I am not really focusing on you know making it really perfectly aligned. Put something like this and then again I grab a bit of dark and add on the borders to create a little bit of 3D um, feeling, just three dimensional illustration, so it's not super flat. Something like this. I will grab a little bit of purple because it will create these shadows for me and more some here and again we have a lot of darkness over here and here one more time here on the bottom part you can see that my painting is getting dry so it's not really wet on, on my but it still does the work it's uh, quite nice I am just adding a little bit more here like this and also here like this okay and then for this one I think I will make it um, just the circles and I'm not bothering if I leave some white here and there just to create a nice texture view. Okay. And then for the other one, I will use the smaller brush and I will make it green. I have here some leftover and then I go very quickly and then paint directly from the pot to bring a little bit of darkness like this on the borders okay then the next one like this can see how I'm just 
messing around with the brush right um, but if you are more into you know want to make it super perfectly aligned and everything it's absolutely fine you know I am more into the relaxing process now so I didn't really want to focus on making it perfect because what I'm trying to focus lately is that you know there's nothing nothing is perfect but there is beauty there is joy in what we are doing as artists and even if you're not an artist but uh, this is your hobby and it's all about how we can make it enjoyable and nice then I will add again here some green for this one like this and again a bit of darkness here under the beard of course because it just makes it shadowy and here like this and on the bottom in green and then I will grab little bit of blue to make this one blue and nice and some darkness in the borders green a bit more I really like it's simple because you have so many inspiration what to draw what to do and for creatives like how to make nice Christmas cards or uh, these beautiful gift tags and all these kind of things um, so it's just a magical season for sure in a lot of ways tell me tell me in the comments if if you make something yourself let's say do you package your gifts yourself what is what's your christmas thing do you do you have a real christmas tree or the artificial one do you make some nice Christmas cookies or you just buy them just tell me what's what's your Christmas thing I really would like to know more I probably grabbed too much on this paint and then In this one now I need a bit more to bring this darkness as well here you have to know I'm just making a mess but it's okay you have to know that when watercolor dries it will be lighter than what what's during the process but don't uh, you can always add one more layer um, to just make it darker if you like I really like this wet on wet technique because you just throw 
some paint or just some water then you grab your other color and you see how it just bleeds immediately and I really like this um, effect and with practicing you will see that it really depends how dry your first layer is so if it's really wet it will bleed very quickly if it's if it's a bit dry already then you will have less of this bleeding um, part okay now what I want to do is to make the beer so I will start with this one I will just grab very transparent layer and then I will add a little bit of dark and here because I was too excited about the colors but I would recommend to do the lightest parts first and then go so in this case I would do first the white part of the head then the beard and then the green but it's okay um, I'm fine <laughs> it's uh, you know it's a process and it's fine then i'm adding some darkness here where my green went into the beard so like this because i'm trying to make this quite fast and relaxing I am just throwing paint but if you want to really go into details then you can spend a bit more time and adding extra layers on top of it for extra details and stuff like this so you can choose the level of detail that you want to achieve here let's make this one grey like this and this one I want it brown so a bit darker so my first layer will be darker and then even more dark brown and maybe you will say but wait it's already too dark we don't see anything this is why I like to add a little bit of my white jelly pen in the end to just bring the light parts up to bring some contrast to make it nice okay and then a bit of darkness here so one was more dry and the other one is less so you can see here how I have this white spot but on the other side I don't but it's fine because we can go one more time later then I will do the nose we can make it work and then this nose and this nose I will grab a little bit of 
for sienna to make it just a bit dark to add here some darkness on the bottom and if you don't know where to add darkness it's usually on the bottom because your light is coming from the top so the bottom part is dark or if you have such an element then under it is probably a bit darker okay then we have their boots And these are red and these are also red and the other one I think I will make them green like this okay I need a little bit of the paint just to make it lighter then I grab more of this and add it here to bring some nice feeling and I will wash my brush and grab some dark green like this now I want now I want to grab a little bit of gray or yeah I have this green gray here which is very cool and nice color what I want to do is just to add a little bit of texture to the white parts so with a lot of water and a little bit of paint I make this white texture and then just a little bit of dark spots and I'm just playing around, I'm not really trying to make it uh, super realistic, but I'm just playing around with the paint, maybe a bit of dark here, a bit more dark over here. Like this. And the last thing I will do is grab very small and just go very small amount of gray and go around here to create a little bit of 3D feeling for this hat because it's white. but white also has dark parts so like this and same for this part the white here a little bit of darkness on the both sides like this I think I'm almost ready what I want to do is just bring a little bit of darkness on the ground. We'll grab the bigger brush with some water to blend this down like this. So I'm adding water and going down. And the last I will do, I will grab some green to just make nice and cool the 
dots. Mm -hmm. I just like how this can change the whole illustration. The last step will be just adding a little bit of uh, white, but first let's dry it. Okay, let's just add some white and with the white I'm just focusing on the dark spots just to add this extra um, contrast. Like this and maybe on this side too, a bit here. Also right here. Um then like this here just focus with your white just think okay where do I have my dark parts then you add your white over there Here with the white you can add uh, some extra details like some dots or some stars, whatever you like. I'm just adding a little bit of small dots just like this. And adding this contrasting white lines this really changes the whole feeling of this illustration okay that's it i think now i like it a lot Okay, that was it for today's video. I hope you liked it a lot and enjoyed it. I really hope that you learned something today. If you have any questions, don't, for, don't forget to just uh, send a comment and uh, I will make sure to answer them. Don't forget to download the outlines of this illustration and just uh, use it for yourself. Um, if you do so, don't forget to tag me, don't forget to share it with me uh, so I can just see what you've done. Um, I can't wait to see all your creations. So um, yeah, that was it for today. If you liked the video, just subscribe for the channel. This means a lot for me. Uh, like the video and I will see you in uh, the next video. Bye!